people. Do you know that the world is full of so many opportunities? Do you also know that even the poorest man in this world is surrounded by so many opportunities? Are you aware that even you out there has so many opportunities you are not making good use of? For these three reasons, let's welcome a very interesting sister to help us digest the topic. Let's welcome Sister Paloma. Hola everybody! As she just said, the world is indeed full of opportunities. And today, we'll talk about how to identify, how to take advantage, and how to develop those opportunities. So guys, stay tuned, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi lovely viewers. So first of all, I would like to thank our man of God for the opportunity to be your host Thank you so much. I would also like to thank the leaders of the G-Link Fellowship. Thank you so much. Lastly, I would like to thank you all for your presence here today and for being my audience. Thank you so much. Hello, Ma. Welcome on set. Thank you for having me. Okay. In our promo video, we talked about discussing a topic which is opportunities. Okay. So when we say opportunities, what are opportunities? Okay, uh, first of all, uh, I'd also like to, to appreciate this opportunity you have been given to me uh, to thank men of God for, for made it happen and to thank the Bewa Fellowship leadership for also giving this initiative to be here today and all of you guys are there listening to us today. And going back to your question, opportunities. We can go to the formal definition going to Oxford for example that says that opportunities are a set of circumstances that make it possible for you to do something. But let's, let's break it a little into bits for us here. Okay. Uh, opportunities are chances, options, that come to your way at a certain time. They make it possible for you to do, to achieve something in life. And the book of Ecclesiastes talks about it on chapter, on chapter 9, verse 11, where in a brief way it says, it says that uh, victory or success does not depend on the strongest or the brightest or, or the most skillful one but time and chance happens to us all so we all have the same amount of time right yeah you all have the 24 hours in a day to do something and chance will come in your way at a certain time there is no such thing as base completely on, on, on school, on education, on the, on the abilities that you have, they will guarantee success in life. But the way that you seize the moments that come to you, the opportunities that come in your way, they will determine how successful you will be. Wow, that was very detailed. Thank you so much. I would also like to say something from your definition. You made mention of opportunities being options. Mm -hmm. It means we have to choose from them, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Also, you made mention of opportunities happening at a certain time. Mm -hmm. That's a very good question. Thank you for that. Because um, an opportunity of a lifetime has to be seized in the lifetime of that opportunity. Because that door won't stay open forever. It will come to a point that will close and you'll miss that opportunity that was given to you. Oh, wow. That was good. I'd also like to know this. Is there anything as a good or bad opportunity? Um, I believe that for us Christians, there's no such thing as a bad opportunity. Because God is there. You have the Holy Spirit that gives you this discernment. You can say what's wrong, what's right, what's best, what is not so good for you. So for us Christians, there's no such thing as a bad opportunity. Okay. Um, coming from your answer, if there's no bad, there's no such thing as a bad opportunity, then how can we identify opportunities when we are met with one? Okay, yes. Thank you for that question. Because sometimes they'll come to you in so many ways that you have to open your eyes and see them. They might come in a disguise. For example, um, let's see four types of, of, of four ways to identify uh, an opportunity. The first one would be chaos, when things are completely out of order, when things are not falling in the natural order that they were supposed to be. And we can take an example, Peter. Peter, when the whole storm was going on, 
and the wind blowing, thunderstorms and everything, and Jesus appears walking on water. And there, at that moment, he had this opportunity to do the impossible, to do something that no one else has ever done, walk on water. And then bringing to us our daily lives, can, let's imagine an, an, an accident. And suddenly everybody is running up and down, panicking, what to do, what to do, and someone is there needing your help. At that moment, you have an opportunity to help someone, to do something for someone. Um, another phase would be um, challenge. When it comes to you as a challenge, when you're pressed to bring results, when you have this pressure on you to do something, you can also go again to the Bible, to Esther's story. When the old decree came out and her people were, 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 were sentenced to die at a certain day, and there she had to do something. And she stood and she did. We can also take Nelson Mandela as, like, as an example. Okay. Let's see the whole thing that he went through to free his people. He went through very bad, bad things. But if he hadn't done anything, that opportunity would have, would have gone and he would have missed it. Another phase would be calling. When life itself prepares these certain things to bring in this role that only you could play it. Let's say as abilities or things that you do, things that you're good at. For example, singing or, or, or talking. Just put these things out use them they'll be a stepping stones taking you further and further in life and the fourth one people people are an opportunity for you as we had seen before in one of our our, our studies a uh, challenge of, of, of opportunity a challenge of opportunity how how can you see it someone's need is an opportunity for you to do something in that person's life so let's just summarize with these four. Chaos, challenge, calling, and people. Wow. I guess we all had those four ways of identifying opportunities. I would also like to know this. Now we've identified the opportunity. How can we now take advantage of it? Oh yes, how to take advantage of an opportunity. I think the first step would be be willing to change. Be willing to step out of your comfort zone. Be willing to do more, more than you're just seeing at the moment. Going further, beyond that thing that just appeared to you. Be willing, open to the unknown that just kind of came to you. A second, a second step would be see beyond. Walk through the journey. There's a whole thing coming because of this opportunity. See yourself in that journey see where can you go what can you achieve the results that can that can come because of that opportunity we saw the other the other night at all night that was this this example of of marriage before you get into mar get into marriage see the whole journey you and the person how would it be how things would work and then you have an idea you see the results ahead of time and then uh, another one would be allowing the Holy Spirit to open your eyes so you can see beyond that one opportunity that has come to you. For example, China. Coming to China was a great opportunity for, for a lot of us, right? Yeah. With the, the, the main reason was to study, to get our degree. But then, in the meantime, we had these other opportunities there. We met so many people. A lot of people, they, they found their spouses. A lot of people made connections. They, they now can do so much more because of being here in China. And the, the fourth one, uh, I can say that's allowing God to use that opportunity to bring glory to His name. That can be as a testimony to others to see how God has worked in your life. The, the good things, life. yes, the hand, the, the hand of God in your life. Wow, thank you so much. That answer was super detailed. Good. I, 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 I this thing has been, you know, bothering me a lot. I, I want to know what, what can stop us or hinder us from seeing our opportunities. That's a good question. Thank you for pointing it out. Because there's, there's a big number of things that will block you will not allow you to see or to achieve more in life. For example, let's start with pride. 
pride. Pride will make you in one place. Stubbornness will just make you there because you think that's right. That's your right place to be. That's the best place that you can you can be at that moment. So you won't go out. You won't you won't see what's what's out there for you. Another one will be self pity. Because in your head you're you're not meant to have more. You're not meant to be more. You're just a small person in your small head is all that is the one that you're supposed to have, which is not true. And there's another one that a lot of people see as something would block someone to be good or to have a good life is disabilities. Disabilities is a myth to me. It cannot be something to block you. It cannot be something that will hold you back. No. Now, I'm not talking only in the physical disabilities. I'm talking also about the mental ones. That in your head, you believe that you cannot be more. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as that. You can do so much. We have so many examples of people that have achieved so much in life with many disabilities. And laziness. Laziness. Uh, we all sometimes we have these moments that we just feel like I'm ah, not doing things. Yeah. But laziness. I would say being lazy to challenge yourself to be better, to do better, to have better. So you have to be able to challenge yourself. Laziness will just be, you will just be there in your comfort zone. You don't want to, you're too comfortable there. You don't want to leave. So that one will just put you back. And fear. Yeah. Fear will come to you, making you not go anywhere because you don't know what's coming after that. You don't know what's what's beyond this you're scared of the unknown and then that will block you you won't, you won't see the things that are right there for you wow that was that was very great thank you so much lastly what would you like to say you know kind of sum up about this whole topic opportunities yes um i know it's just our end time here but i like to say that opportunities are there for you every day god has this big number of opportunities this big number of doors that open for you every day just open your eyes open your eyes allow the holy spirit to to let you see the things the things that you can do the things that you can be the things that you can achieve uh, i want to bring this this quote of, of helen keller where she says when a door of hope of happiness closes another one opens don't stare at the door that closed because if you stare for the, at the door for too long you'll miss the other door that is opening right beside you so go out there get out of your, of your comfort zone and see the wonders that this world has for you has for you god has given this world for you to conquer you have authority in this life so go out there and be great wow thank you so much for being on set for honoring our invitation thank you for having me it was awesome i i would like to add this to what, what you just said this topic on opportunity is very vast you know but i'm so happy we've gotten to treat it today because now we know how to identify opportunities yes. you know how to take advantage of it and most importantly what stops us from seeing our opportunities which was very striking for me because this disabilities thing that you talked about it's very serious you know people are limited in their minds they can't go further mm -hmm. because they think okay this is my circle i'll stay here i'll urge everybody out there to see the opportunities right in front of you because each person is surrounded by so many opportunities and also don't be scared you know god has given us grace go out there and explore every opportunity you have thank you guys I stop it just yet. Dreamed I went to heaven. You were there with me. We walked upon the streets of gold beside the crystal sea. We heard these angels singing, and someone called your name. You turned and saw this young man, and he was smiling. As you came.